Hi there, Smart Driver talking to you today about putting fuel in your vehicle. If you haven't done this before, it's a fairly straightforward process. We're going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to do this safely, how to not slop fuel on your car, and to ease any anxiety you might have about doing this. Stick around. We'll be right back with that information. So the first thing you want to do when you put fuel in your vehicle is pick your fuel station. There's many of them to choose from and pick the one to your liking. Uh, pull into the pump, uh, noting which side of the vehicle your fill cap is on and you can see that by the arrow on your fuel gauge inside of the vehicle. Pull in so you're about three feet away from the pump and when you drive past the pump, just so you go past the pump and then bring your vehicle to a stop. There's lots of hose there, so even if you're a little bit far away, it's still going to work out for you. Before you get out of the vehicle, unlock the fuel lid so you can get into the cap, collect your payment, whether that's a credit card or cash. All fuel stations in this day and age are going to be prepay, so if you're paying cash, you're gonna go in and see the attendant. Uh, if you're paying credit card, you can pay right at the fuel pump. And before you go in to see the attendant, make sure that you uh, take note of the number of the fuel pump before going in so you can say, tell the, the attendant which one you're at. So you've opened the lid, uh, remove the fuel cap, uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty, uh, and it's gonna be left to the left to remove the cap, stow the cap. It might be on a tether. If it's on a tether, just let it hang, or there might be a dock on the back of the fuel cover that you can sit the cap into. Uh, if it's loose, uh, then set it on top of the fuel pump. Don't set it on top of your vehicle. Uh, because if you forget to replace it after you uh, finish fueling and you drive away, it's going to fall off your car and you may not get it back and, you, and then you'll have to go and buy a new one. After you remove the fuel cap, if you are using a credit card, then you simply insert your credit card into the machine or tap and follow the prompts on the screen. Be sure that you have your rewards card ready or your number. Uh, some fuel stations will have a uh, membership as well and you'll have to have that number. And you'll have to uh, pre-select whether you want your fuel receipt or not. And if you're keeping track of your fuel mileage, you'll want to have a receipt. After the payment is accepted, uh, lift the pump from its dock and select the grade of fuel. If you're driving a high-end sports car, or an engine fitted with a turbocharger, you're probably gonna to have to put premium fuel in your vehicle. For most other vehicles, it's just gonna be regular. If you're unsure about this, consult the owner's uh, manual of your vehicle or go back to the dealership or your mechanic or somebody else that you trust. Uh, hold the fuel pump sideways to prevent residual fuel from spilling out onto the ground or on the side of your vehicle. Uh, insert the pump into your tank uh, and pull up on the handle to start the flow of fuel. And if there's a lock on it, you can set it at the lowest setting and let it uh, fill until it clicks off. If you're holding it, it'll click off as well. Uh, I know that for some of you out there that you're going to be a little bit OCD and want to get it to the nearest dollar amount. but once it clicks off, do not put any more fuel in your tank because you could potentially overfill the fuel tank and fill the vapor filtration system on your car and do damage which could cause you money in the form of a repair. So once it clicks off, stop filling the tank. Leave the uh, fuel pump in the tank and push the switch on the fuel pump, hold that and then pull up on the handle and that'll get rid of any residual fuel left in the hose and it'll put it into your car as opposed to on the ground. Once you've done that, turn the pump sideways, return it to the docking station and uh, by that point you'll be finished. You'll have to re uh, return the fuel cap, click it on and, and turn it till it's tight and it clicks a couple of times that way uh, you won't get any air into the fuel system and the the vehicle will run properly so it's got to be tight because it's a sealed system the fuel system on your vehicle close and lock the fuel lid uh, collect your receipt if you have one and uh, return to the vehicle and if you're uh, keeping track of the vehicle's fuel mileage reset the tripometer and write the fuel mileage for the last tank of fuel on your receipt so it's that simple the whole process shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes all the best uh, with your new driving career if you just started driving and got your license recently. So good luck, smart driver. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.